Hello friends! In this video, you'll see how the actors of the movie The Mask of Zorro 1998 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how to look then and work with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Don Rafael Montero is the governor of California. He is cruel and persuasive, lost for power, uses his knowledge and influence to manipulate others into serving his interests. In his youth, he was a close friend of Don Diego de la Vega. Alejandro Murieta, Antonio Banderas, is a strong and experienced freedom fighter who continues to fight against the Spanish government in California. He is brave, ready to risk his life for the sake of his homeland and people. Also plays the role of the new Zorro. Don Diego de la Vega He is the former Zorro, Anthony Hopkins, is a master of swordsmanship and disguise, an outstanding strategist. He is smart, educated, understands politics, teaches Alejandro everything he knows about the struggle for freedom and justice. Captain Harrison Love, Matt Letcher, is Montero's top agent dedicated to the service of his sovereign. He is very smart and inventive, but at the same time he is cruel and ruthless, a true master of swordsmanship, which makes him a dangerous opponent in battle. Three-Fingered Jack is an alive Zorro. He helps him fight against Montero and his henchmen, masterfully owns a knife and is an experienced fighter. He is always in a good mood and loves to joke, played by Al Q. Jones, who died of natural causes in 2022. Don Julio is the representative of the corrupt Spanish colonial authorities, looking for profit in any business. Intelligent and educated, communicates only with the high class, fearful and doesn't like to take risks. The role is played by Umberto Elizondo. Don Luis, Tony Amendola, is a wealthy noble Don who occupies a high position in Mexican society. He often shows his disdain for those below his social status, such as servants and Indians. He often gets into situations that force him to use his wits and cunning. Young Joaquin Murieta is the brother of Alejandro Murieta. He is an orphan and, together with his brother, is forced to survive by committing thefts and crimes. He is brave, persistent, and longs for justice, has a kind and empathetic heart, played by Diego Sierras. The Silly Soldier, David Villapando, is a soldier who serves in the army of the governor of California. He is kind and devoted to his country and commander, but is distinguished by clumsiness and low intelligence. However, he tries very hard to fulfill his duties. Esperanza de la Vega, Juliet Rosen, is Don Diego's wife, a beautiful woman that even Montero was in love with. She is brave and courageous. During the arrest of her husband, she covers him from the shot of a Spanish sergeant, as a result of which she dies. The prison guard is distinguished by strictness and cruelty in the treatment of prisoners. His main goal is the punishment of prisoners. To achieve this goal, he uses various methods. He is played by Mori Chaikin, who died of kidney disease in 2010. Prison guard is an indifferent man who clearly fulfills his duties, loves control and obedience. He doesn't care about the prisoners. The most important thing for him is order and discipline. Often resorts to cruelty towards prisoners. The role is played by Paul Ganos. Nanny takes care of little Elena in the Don Diego de la Vega family. She's devoted to this family, loves the baby very much and treats her like her own daughter. Every night she sings to the baby until she falls asleep. The role is played by Luisa Huertas. Young Alejandro Murieta is the brother of little Joaquin Murieta. He is also an orphan in difficult circumstances. He is brave, independent, and often acts recklessly, but his excitement is transmitted to everyone around him. Played by Jose Maria de Tavire. 
Indian girl with a kind heart who gave a rare and beautiful flower to Elena. The family raised this girl kind and humble, which helps her to live and enjoy even the smallest things, despite the situation of her family. The role was played by Vanessa Boch. Joaquin Murrieta is Alejandro's brother, a brave and courageous warrior who was not afraid to confront American mercenaries who oppress and kill Mexicans. He also inspires other Mexicans to resist the American occupation. The role was played by Victor Rivers. Fray Felipe is the priest who is well acquainted with everyone who lives in his parish. He believes in justice and mercy, ready to sacrifice his time and effort for the sake of others. Helps out of old friendship to hide Zara in his church, played by William Marcus. Ancient Zora, Abel Woolrich, is a prisoner who committed many crimes, was in prison for over 30 years. When Montero and his henchmen tried to take Zora in prison, he impersonated him in order to save the hero, has a bold character and a sense of brotherhood. One of the six dons, Fernando Becerril, is a highly respected man in his circle. He is educated and well-read, has a good sense of humor. In a good mood, it can help the lower class. Once he paid his shoe shiner so much that he didn't work for another week. Black Zara, Conrad Roberts, is a criminal who is serving time for stealing from the rich, tried to escape from prison several times, impersonated Zora when Montero showed up at the prison to kill him, bold and courageous, ready to help a friend in need. Don Hector is a wealthy aristocrat, owner of many lands, businessman, possesses a cunning mind and insight, persistent in achieving his goals, likes good music, women and tobacco, spends free time exploring new investment opportunities. Elena, daughter of Don Diego de la Vega, who was kidnapped and raised by Montero. She is beautiful and attractive, has courage and intelligence. She loves her family and is willing to do anything to protect them. The role was played by Catherine Zeta Johns. Don Pedro is a wealthy landowner, the owner of a large fortune that his grandfather amassed. He is very stingy, considers every penny spent and manages with the most necessary. The role was played by Pedro Amendares Jr., who died of eye cancer in 2011. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.